Okay, the United States has quite a few different coins. So this is just a sample of some of the coins you might see um, when you're paying for something. You might get changed back. Um, one thing that's fairly simple in the United States as far as paper money is concerned is really you don't have to remember what they are because they tell you right here this is a one dollar bill because it has a one here's a five dollar bill here's a ten dollar I don't have a two on here but there's a two dollar bill also here's a twenty dollar bill here's a fifty and here's a hundred now the coins get a little bit more difficult if you flip these over it tells you what they are but on the front side it really doesn't tell you a couple confusing things this one here is an old um, Eisenhower dollar and this is so this is one dollar here but this new one Satchitui one here this is a dollar also so these two right here are equal to this one this paper money here now this one a little bit big or bigger than a quarter smaller than a dollar is a um, 50 cent piece so this is one half of a dollar or 50 cents okay so worth 50 of these things right here 50 pennies right because a penny is one cent and we have a dime should I be writing these this is penny here is a dime this one is worth 10 pennies or 10 cents. Or we can get 10 of these together and make $1. Here's a nickel. Okay, a nickel is worth 5 pennies or 5 cents. Or we can get 20 of these together and make a dollar. And then we call this one a quarter. It's a quarter because if we get four of them together, they'll make a dollar. So one fourth of a dollar is a quarter. So that is worth 25 pennies, 25 cents. This is our 100 cents, right? Or one dollar. So once you kind of know and you identify these, it's not so bad then basically you're just dealing with, you know, you're dealing with 1, 5, 10. That makes it easy, right, to add. You've got 25, you got 50. And then, then it gets slightly tricky, but not too bad, because all of these are, if we say 1, it's really 1 times 100 cents, right? Like that, or 5 times you know, 100 cents. So these are dollars, right? Um, so that's basically how you use these coins. It's um, simple in some ways, and, and um, you know, the U.S. Mint keeps copy or making new coins, so it makes it kind of interesting because we have all kinds of different coins that represent um, the same thing.